Hey, what's happening guys? I apologize that I haven't been gone for so long. I've never left you guys alone this long before, but lots of stuff going on, including uh, my great aunt and godmother passed away very recently, and uh, it's taken some time to process. So, while I'm still here, uh, I haven't made as many videos as I usually do. You know, we've talked about it all through 2023 that the uh, the bottom basically has dropped out of YouTube for me. And it's just, it is not financially viable for me to make a full-time living doing this anymore. So I'm going to have to go back to work. But there will still be videos. They just will not be as frequent. I apologize. You know, if you are a uh, eccentric, wealthy multi-millionaire and want to fund this channel you know please get in touch with me otherwise there will still be videos they will just be farther apart anyway on to today's topic uh i got this tid radio h8 we looked at the tid radio h3 a couple weeks ago and these are very nice um entry level to mid-level handheld uh ham radios 2 meter, 70 centimeter. This one might also be uh, 220 megahertz. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I'm not going to do a review on this radio because, frankly, that's not my ballywick. I am not a uh, radio reviewer. But what I do want to talk about today is this package they sent me, which includes a lot of stuff, including an extra... 2500 milliamp hour 18.5 watt hour 7.4 volt battery because as you can see there's already one here on the radidio there is a charging base which is totally not needed because again we have USB-C here and do we have USB-C here no just on the radio there that's fine but okay here's our charging stuff you have already seen antenna number one this is the medium size antenna they have also sent one of these which is probably yeah it's an it's a knockoff of a Nagoya NA771 and also they sent us a little stubby guy here so what we're gonna do today is put these on the nano VNA and see how they act as antennas in those band ranges all right Let's get ready. All right, I got the Nano VNA configured for the 2 meter band, which is 144 to 148 uh, megahertz. And we're going to screw in our antenna here. And we're going to see how she looks. She looks absolutely horrible. I mean, at the upper end of the band, the SWR is 3.6. In the middle of the band, it's 4.2. And at the bottom, wow, it's 5. That is insane. Am I doing something wrong? Let's, let's grab the antenna. Oh, bow thing. Let's see how it reads. Just kind of a uh, sanity check here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not insane. Get out of there. The bow thing is, uh, much better. Holy crap. So mid band, this thing is a uh, 2.5. Still not great. And at the top end of the band, it's 2.2. Holy smolians. All right. Let me reconfigure the nano VNA for UHF and we'll be right back. Okay, I've reconfigured the Nano VNA for UHF. 
that's 420 to uh, 450 megahertz, a 70 centimeter band. And we're going to start off with this little st stubby TID radio TD805S. And it says VHF, UHF, but that's going to suck on VHF. I can guarantee you that. Come on, get off there. All right, so... About halfway, we're at 2.3. Oh my goodness. This is just not great. All right. Let's try the one that came with the H8 radio. Well, now look at that. That is not bad for UHF. Okay. Let's look at the uh, bow thing. Bow thing is good on UHF as well. And finally, let's look at the knockoff Nagoya, this guy here. Oh, the Nagoya is acceptable. Wow. Yeah, so the knockoff Nagoya is the best radio or is the best antenna of all. On UHF I'm gonna jump back to VHF and we're gonna go through these oh one more time oh okay pardon me for turning most of the light out let's see if we can get a little bit more here might make it better focus yeah, not bad all right so we're recalibrated for VHF frequencies let's start with the little guy which will probably just be absolutely terrible Yeah, look at that. Eight. So you're not going to want to use the little guy on VHF frequencies, even though it is marked as a VHF antenna. All right, next up, whoops, the uh, Nagoya clone. Oh, boy. Hang on. Oh, get the antenna up in the air in free space, huh? Oh, what happened? Oh, we had a little, uh, little connector issue there. Okay, there we go. So it's under two, straight across. God. All right, never mind that thing. All right, we disconnect the Nagoya. Back to the uh, unlabeled one that came with the TID radio H8. There it is, and free air, like 3.3 across the board. Just horrible. And finally, the bow thing. All right, all right. So here's our antennas. There's the fake Nagoya, the dual bander that came with the uh, TID radio, the Baofeng, and the uh, stubby that came with the TID radio. Okay, take this, throw it away. It stinks. Take this one, throw it away. It stinks. Use this. This is the best antenna that came with this radio, the NA771. The other ones are just not even worth your time. Oh, 
Yeah, somebody may have turned that a little too hard. Welcome. Let's see. Four, three, two, one. Let's see if this will hit my uh, localist repeater, which is about 10 miles away from me. WW8PR? AIJ repeater. Yep. No problem. Now watch this. We will switch to the radio, the antenna that came with the radio. Welcome. WW8PR. Surprisingly, it reached it. Let's try. Let's try the stubby. If the, if if it reaches the, with this stubby antenna, it will blow my mind. I can't imagine that Welcome. it would though. WW8PR. Yeah. No go. All right. Let's uh just for. S and G's. Let's put on the uh, the Baofeng antenna and see what it does. Put the Baofeng on there. I think it has a Baofeng logo on it somewhere. I don't know. WW8PR testing. Well, it, it hit it, but I don't think it got in. So, yeah, I should have shut it off before I did that. I know, but it'll be all right. I am going to go with the knockoff Nagoya for right now. If it'll thread in. Yep. There we go. Cool. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the uh, antennas with the TID Radio H8. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you how much this radio costs. 70 bucks for everything minus the uh, the Baofeng antenna. So you got two batteries, charging base, uh, three antennas, uh, USB-C, and you also get a manual. And, of course, the why, reason I like these TID radios is that they are Bluetooth programmable. No, uh, no special cables required. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.